Hi there, welcome. I'm your trainer, Annalisa, and this is your 20-minute upright bike class. Before we get started, I'm going to touch on two metrics that we will be using today. The first one is your RPM. I'll be using RPM when I refer to speed. And then when it comes to your resistance, my bike has a level one up to 30, 30 being the hardest and one being the easiest. So let's go ahead and get started. You can pedal. We will begin at a level of one up to three. It should feel nice, light, and easy. And you can start with your hands in these closer handlebars, sitting in an upright position. In terms of your speed, we're gonna be anywhere between 65 up to 85, just keeping those legs moving nice and light. Perfect. So now I want you to bump up your resistance by just one point. The road should still feel nice, light, and easy, but we should be at a two or higher. So go ahead and bump it up. And now I want you to give me three big shoulder rolls to the back. Take your hands off those handlebars. And give me three big shoulder rolls back, releasing all that tension in your upper body. And then three big shoulder rolls forward. Perfect, shake out those arms, shake out those wrists. And check your speed, we should still be around 65, up to 85 RPM. Now I want you to go ahead and lean forward into generally what we call third position. Keeping your core nice and tight, those hips are bad in this cup, you see. Perfect. Heels are pressing down, knees are rolling forward. And we're gonna start to just pick up that pace just a little bit. So we're probably a little closer to 80 RPM. Awesome. Now go ahead and take it back into the upright position. And coming right up, we've got three rounds of work today. We've got one endurance run. We also have one progressive climb. And then we've got some speed intervals to end out the workout. So when you're ready, I want you to bump up your resistance at least two points. So now we're anywhere between a four up to a six or higher. And the road feels relatively moderate, like you've got a nice headwind that you're riding against right here. Awesome. So coming up, I want us to be anywhere between five up to eight on our resistance. And we're gonna go for a little run here. In terms of that speed, I want you to aim for around 75 up to 95. So at this time, get a feel for that resistance. This should feel moderate, maybe around 40% of your threshold, at least above a level five. And we're gonna start to find a speed of 75 up to 95. Coming up in 20 seconds. When we do get there, we will be leaning forward so we can really focus on that push and on that lower body. Coming up in eight seconds, go ahead and start to lean forward. Resistance should be five or higher. And in three, two, one. Perfect. So find yourself at a strong running pace. 75 up to 95. We're here for 45 seconds. And guess what, we've already got 15 seconds down. So just focus on maintaining that speed. This should not feel like a sprint just yet. We've got that at the end. Perfect. Go ahead and scoot those hips back into the saddle just a little bit more. Keeping that core nice and tight. We get to recover in 10 seconds. Hold that pace. There we go, we've got five, four, Right position. Now I want you to add at least one point to your resistance level. Let your leg speed slow down. 55 up to 65. Perfect. All right. We have another run. You should have at least added one point to your resistance, so we're probably at a six or higher. And coming up, we've got another run of 45 seconds in that forward position, right around the corner, less than 30 seconds. If you need to, grab a quick sip of water, towel off, right before we get back to work. 
can also shake out those arms, shake out those wrists. All right, in 10 seconds. Resistance is at a six or higher. Go ahead and lean forward. And in four, three, two, one. In terms of that speed, we're aiming for 75 or higher still. And I know we added something to that resistance. It should feel a little tougher, a little heavier. So you really got to drive those heels down. Core is nice and tight. We got 30 seconds left already. Perfect, use that body weight. Can you pick up that speed for the next 20 seconds of this interval? In 15, we get to take it back to that easy resistance and recover. Pick it up even faster. Can you get closer to 85 plus? We've got three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit up. And take that resistance back as light as you need. Grab some water towel off. Take a big deep breath. We've got this recovery for 90 seconds. And up next, we have our only major climb of the day. It's gonna last four minutes. And we will be getting up there on that resistance. So just keep that in mind. Enjoy this rest. Awesome. In about 60 seconds, resistance will be starting at a level five. It's not too, too heavy. And in terms of our speed, we're gonna maintain around 65 RPM, plus or minus five, for at least 60 seconds. So. We'll also be starting in this upright position so you can really focus on that lower body and pressing those heels down. All right, 30 second warning. Start to bring up that resistance to around a level three or four. And you can drop your speed to around 65 RPM. I want you to find yourself at the base of an incline, so level five or higher. Coming up in about 10 seconds. We're gonna stay right here in this upright position. Let's get ready, bump it up, level five or higher. In four, three, two, and one. Perfect. So, I want you to find 65 RPM. It should feel easy right now, especially since we're upright. Go ahead and roll those shoulders back. Those hands are on those pull sensors. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and move it forward. Keeping this resistance on before we change of course. Coming up in about three, two, one. Hold on to that resistance. Now go ahead and lean forward. Maintaining that speed, 65 RPM. Perfect. In 20 seconds, we're gonna make a big jump. We're gonna be adding three points to our resistance. So that should take us to about an eight or higher. It's gonna start to feel like a strong hill. Go ahead and sit upright. And in four, three, two, one. Give me eight on that resistance. Perfect. Now, for as long as you can, I want you to try and maintain 65 RPM. If you drop to around 60 and it still feels like a fight, then just aim for 60 for the next 60 seconds. Actually a little bit less, because there is going to be another change. I'm asking for at least two points on that resistance, so that's two. And then we're gonna go ahead and sit forward, coming up in less than 30 seconds. Perfect. While you're sitting up, keep that core tight. Heels are pressing down on those pedals. Awesome. Now, two points. We added on in 10 seconds. Let's get ready, it's gonna get tough. In five, four, three, two, and one. Two points, so we're at a 10, or maybe even higher. Now go ahead and lean forward. Using that body weight side to side. At this point, your speed might drop to around 55 RPM, and that is okay, just keep those legs moving. Awesome. In about 40 seconds, we've got our final change. I'm looking for whatever you can add while keeping those feet pedaling on this bike. 
so. And if it starts to feel a little too hard, when we do make that final change, which is only gonna last 60 seconds, then dial it back. Either way, let's get up for that challenge. Go ahead and take it into that upright position. Perfect. Coming up in 10, I want you to add anything you can, anything possible to get yourself to the top of this hill in four, three, two, and one. Make a change. Even if it has to be small, it's still going to matter. It's still going to make a difference. Perfect. We've got 60 seconds left. Let's stay upright right here. Perfect. Now, it's okay if your speed drops. Shoot, I'm around 50 RPM. But what I want you to do is focus on maintaining that same pace. So focus on consistency. All right. We've got about 30 seconds left. Can you add anything else? Put it on right now and take it forward. Core is nice and tight. Using that body weight, heels are pressing down into those pedals. We've got 15 seconds. There we go. Keeping that chest open right here. We've got eight. And in five, we get to take this resistance off. In four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit up, take it back. Levels one through five, whatever feels nice and light for you. Awesome. You can take those hands off those handlebars, just shake it out for a moment. Grab your water off the sled and we're on to our final round of work so up next we've got four speed pushes first one will be 30 we've got a 45 second a 60 second and we finish off with that 30 second sprint so it's four total we've got short recoveries in between but I do want to remind you now take full advantage of those recoveries and that means you gotta sit up, wipe off the sweat, slow down your breathing. And you only get 30 seconds, then take full advantage of that time. Speaking of, we've got 30 seconds before we begin our first sprint of this final round. It's 30 seconds going as fast as you can. In terms of that resistance, let's get us up to a four to six. It should feel like a flat road with a slight headwind. And we're gonna stay upright for this one. All right. First push coming up in four, three, two, and one. Let's pick it up. Keeping that core tight. Rolling those shoulders back. Elbows are drawn in. They're not locked out. Now I want you to check your speed. Try and get close to 100 RPM, if not higher. We've got 15 seconds left. In 10, we're gonna recover forward. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slow it down. Unless you need to grab water, go ahead and lean forward. Chest open, chin up. And now, we've got a 45 second push. That's coming up in just about 15 seconds. I want us all to start around 75 to 80 and we're gonna gradually progress in speed. Just for this one. All right, sticking with the same resistance, we've got three, two, one. Start at about 75 to 80 RPM. Perfect. Just a nice, moderate run. And now I want you to pick it up by at least 10 RPM this time. 30 second mark, 30 seconds left to go. We should be around close to 90 RPM here. And in five seconds, give me your fastest sprint. It's only 15 seconds long. Right now, start to pick it up. Drive it. Perfect. Coming up in eight seconds. We recover for 45. In four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit upright. Now, 
Let's add at least two points on our resistance, right here. So we should at least be at a six or higher. And we've got our longest run or speed push of the entire class. It's only 60 seconds. That's coming up in 20. We're gonna start upright. With that level six on, our starting speed while we're upright is gonna be around 65 to 70 RPM. So let's get ready. You've got eight in five, four, three, two, and one. Find 65 to 70 RPM. Awesome. This is gonna be another one of those progressive ones. Go ahead and lean forward. Now, give me 70 to 75 RPM. Awesome. We're gonna give me a jump of speed, 85 to 95 in four, three, two, and one. We've got 30 seconds left. Give me 85 plus. Perfect. Start to increase that pace right here. We're down to our final 15 seconds coming up. Give me that all out sprint right now. Let's pick it up. We're gonna stay forward. Drive it. Perfect, check your speed. Is this the fastest you can go? We've got four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit up, slow it down. Don't touch that resistance. Perfect. All right. Add one point to that resistance level. Seven to nine now is what that resistance is looking and feeling like. Like we're working against something. Working against the wind. We still got a 30 second sprint coming up and then we're done. We're gonna take this one, leaning forward. In about 30 seconds. Perfect. So right out the gate, we're not gonna build into this one. I want you to find your fastest pace and stay there. Something you can maintain for 30 seconds with this resistance on. Coming up in 15, go ahead and lean forward. Doing those hips back, core is nice and tight. Now let's pick it up in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Awesome. Now, check your speed. Are we close to 100 or higher? Or at least the fastest you can go for the next 20 seconds. Perfect. 15 to go, you're more than halfway done. Let's drive it. I want you to aim for breathless. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slow it down. Keep that resistance on. Perfect. Grab some water towel off. You can now drop that resistance to around a level one up to three. And just roll those legs out. Perfect. While you're seated upright, seated upright, give me three big shoulder rolls to the back. Releasing all that tension in your upper body. Shake it out. Keeping those legs moving, give me three big shoulder rolls forward. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Awesome. Let's stretch out those arms just a little bit more. Reach that right arm across your body. Grab your tricep with your left hand. And hold this stretch. For four, three, two, and one. Switch, left goes across right. Perfect. Hold that for four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Now slowly, you can stop pedaling. You're gonna step off to the left side of our bikes. And let's stretch out those legs real quick. Go ahead and take that left ankle for a left side quad stretch. Knees are shoulders distance apart right here. Standing nice and tall. Hold that for four, three, two, 
and one, shake it out. Now let's switch to the other side, right ankle, right quad stretch. Awesome, standing nice and tall. Core still tight. We're gonna hold that for four, three, two, one. Shake it out. And congratulations, you did it. That was your 20 minute upright bike workout. Once again, my name is Annalisa. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you all next time.